Hope's Luca, Ivy Masters Learning Center, and IvyMasters.com. And today we're going to look at Test 7, Section 3, Number 11, which reads, The expression, that mess, where x is greater than 1, y is greater than 1, is equivalent to which of the following? So what do you need to know for this? You need to know that if you've got n to, let's say, n to the negative 3, that equals 1 over n to the positive 3. You've got to know that if you've got 1 over, let's say, n to the negative 4, you've got n to the positive 4. So in other words, if the exponent's negative in the top, it gets thrown to the bottom and becomes positive. If the exponent is negative in the bottom, it gets thrown to the top and becomes positive. What else do you need to know? You need to know that if you've got n to the 1 half, that is the square root of n. If you've got, let's say it's n to the 1 fourth, that is the fourth root of n. So. Notice, if it's to the one half, it's assumed it's a square root. Square root assumes that you have a two there. So in other words, what times itself will give you n. And if it's n to the one fourth, the fourth root of n, what times itself four times will give you n. So looking at this question, what do we got? So if we've got x to the negative two in the top, it's got to be x to the positive two in the bottom. Always do these things in pieces as you go. If we need x squared in the bottom, it looks like our answer, it's not underneath the root, so it looks like our answer is d. Done. If we've got y to the negative 1 in the bottom, then it looks like it's going to be y to the first and the top. Notice answer choice d has straight up y, just y, which is y to the first up top. Notice up top you've also got y to the 1 half power, which is the square root of y. Notice answer choice d has the square root of y up top. And down below you've got x to the 1 third power. Notice down below in answer to SD, you've got the cubed root of x. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has difficulty with exponents, negative exponents, fractional exponents. If there's any question you'd like to see answered from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything. And check out our one-minute video on TikTok. Have a great day.